Hi guys. So a lot of times we as people have this image, this imago, this picture of ourselves, how we would like to be, how we would like to look like. That's why a lot of times when we grow up and we aren't supported in our uniqueness or we aren't being seen by others, um, our caregivers and so on, and we tend to compare ourselves anyway as humans but when we aren't being supported we as teenagers think we are too tall or too small or too you know like our body shape isn't isn't right and our face isn't isn't featured correctly and our hair is too curly or too flat or whatever and later on we have this image of who we should be like if we should be athletic or very sporty or be that culturally interesting interested person or this adventure person and a lot of times this comes from a certain perspective on these boxes and it's really difficult to completely detach ourselves from that it's part of being human to think in boxes and it's a practice to not do that but also because we want to be that certain type of person that is really, I don't know, athletic or skinny or um, into fashion. And what we miss sometimes is our, what our soul actually is and maybe what the universe actually wants us for us to grow and what's meant for us is not always what we want and what's what we want is not always what's meant to happen in our lives to let us grow the most or let us evolve and ascend and awake the most and sometimes we think we want to get married and have kids because it's also expected of a lot of people or it's perceived as something safe and, and, and beautiful. But maybe we are evolving much more when we are not in a relationship. Or we are evolving much more when we're not getting married and settled down. Maybe we are evolving even through sickness and disease and we cannot see it yet and perceive it yet. And pain is very difficult to accept. And that's understandable, right? But a lot of times we think we know who we want to be and that's not how we want to look like. And that's not always how it should be from the highest perspective. And that's really difficult to understand and that's really difficult to accept because the more we attach our image to certain characteristics, the more we might get tracked away from our actual soul's purpose. Like a lot of women really want to be mothers and they cannot seem to receive a child and they are desperate and they don't know why and why me and I'm the perfect mother. I would be, that would be, you know, my biggest wish. But especially when we are so attached to certain outcomes and certain pathways we can become blind to what we don't see or we, we can become blind to what's maybe meant to for us much more if we would let go of attaching ourselves to to things that are meant to be because sometimes there are other pathways we cannot see yet and maybe we won't ever see in that lifetime, right? Maybe we will see the reason for what happened after we die and we reach awakening at that point or send ascension at that point and like clarity at that point when we die and how, how it's how it's meant to be because we are also here to impact other people's lives and it's not only about ourselves and um, a lot of times we cannot see it yet and there might be a bigger reason and a lot of times what we want to be is not always what's meant to happen. 
um, from a bigger perspective and for our highest ascension and soul growth. And that's difficult to handle and that's difficult to accept, but surrendering can be magical at these points. <laughs>